Johnny, 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 Johnny. Is it time? Oh my gosh, everybody, let's make some noise. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to the Helpful Haunted Music Lounge. Johnny Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls. Woo! Hi, Lisa. You're here. I am here. Oh my gosh, we love that you're here. People are Can't dressed up. We're excited. We have questions. We uh, know you have answers. I got, I got answers right you, here. You got your cheat sheet. You got yeah. a little cheat sheet. I do. I got my cheat sheet right here. I'm gonna put these in my ear so I can hear you better. Okay. Love it. Love it. Will I be able to hear her better with these in my ear or without? Okay. Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen because you know, as an Italian, I could. Just yeah, that's okay. Right? Italians can You're Italian. We're good. You can hear you you can hear you. Oh yeah, you'll hear me <laughs> way out there. Oh yeah. Okay, so I know we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna talk tour, we're gonna talk music, we're gonna get a little Christmassy. Yeah. We'll get personal, we'll do all that fun stuff, but I'm hoping we can kick it off with a song. Who's been a fan since the nineties? Goo Goo Dolls, right? I mean the whole room. No. Okay. Driving around Los Angeles, nothing better than to hear a great song on the radio and you're like, ah. Oh, who are these guys? I love these guys. Probably our first, maybe favorite song of the Goo Goo Dolls that we heard on the radio, and I'm hoping Johnny knows which one I mean. Yeah. And is going to kick it off with I that better. song. That first know. big Goo Goo Dolls song in the 90s that I know we all know. And if, we, if they know the words, do you encourage singing oh, along? I always encourage people to sing along. And I, you still have the best hair. I just have to tell you. Oh. She's got the best hair ever. Pretty cool hair. <laughs> She's got amazing hair. Great hair. It's, 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 an, it's incredible. You know? I had to cover mine with a Goo Goo Dolls hat. Okay, oh, sh we're starting, we're starting. So, Lisa, you're right. This was our first song that anybody bothered to listen to. And uh, and uh, you guys played it a lot. And yep. thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, sometimes we don't know how to find bands. I mean, now it's a whole different world with all the, you know, TikTok and Instagram and all these different ways to discover music. But back then, we just got the good old, old school radio. And they were like, yeah. who are these guys? Yeah. Well, it's us. It's him. <laughs> That's the guy. Okay. <laughs> All so right. I'll uh, take it away then. Go okay, for here it. we go. Thank you all for being here, by the way. And even though the moment passed me by, I still can't turn away. All the dreams you never thought you'd lose Get tossed along the way And letters that you never meant to send Get lost and thrown away Now we're grown up orphans that never do their names don't belong to no one That's a shame but You could hide beside me Maybe for a while And I won't tell no one your name And I won't tell them your name And scars as souvenirs you never lose The past is never far And did you lose yourself somewhere out there To get to be a star And don't it make you sad to know that life more than who we are I grew up way too fast I ain't nothing to believe When mirrors all become our history A tired song get played on a tired radio And I won't tell no your name I won't tell him your name yeah yeah and I won't tell him your name and 
do uh -huh. And I won't tell him your name So think about you all the time And I don't need the same It's lonely where you are Come back down Now tell them your name All right. Thank you very much. Johnny Resnick at the Goose inside our helpful Honda Music Lounge. So good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Now, I always wonder, I mean, you probably performed that song a gazillion times since it first came out in the 90s. When you play it, are you like, oh, this was the song? Or are you like, oh, I'm so over this song? No, I, I'm, I'm actually, I know this sounds, maybe it sounds a little cheesy, but I'm, I'm pretty grateful for having some success, you know? I mean, you know, we could add that song and then vanished, like a lot of other bands. Yeah, a lot of one-hit wonders, yeah. Lots, and, and you know, I mean, you know, we worked our asses off, but a lot of luck, you know, a lot of luck. And you're still here. We're still and here. I'm still here. Yeah, and the fans are still here. I, I didn't have a plan B. That's my problem. <laughs> yeah. I never had a plan B, so I had to take care of it. I had to do this because I'm like, sure. You know. Thankfully, you didn't need one. No, thank God I didn't need one. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're back in LA. I know you used to live here, but now I you're did. back visiting. Does it feel good to be back? Yeah, I love, I, I mean, I love visiting Los Angeles, but, you know, when, um, when we had a kid, I was like, we're out, you know, because we lived, we lived in the hills in Hollywood. It's like, that's no place to raise a kid. So, you know, so we went back east. So now you come back and it's nostalgic. Like, yeah. what, what, what are your must-haves when you come back? Like, where do you, who do you have to see? Who, where do you have to go? <laughs> um, let's see. I, I have to go to In-N-Out. Got to oh. go to In-N-Out. I'm sorry. Wait, what's your order? Because people who are fanatics have to know your order because they're like, I'm going to order what Johnny orders. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just get a couple of burgers. It's a couple like, burgers? Yeah. Like, Animal you know, style? Or? No, I just, you know, whatever. The, whatever. You I, go you know. the one on Sunset in that, Hollywood? That's the happiest. That's my home one. It's the one on Sunset right in Hollywood. Yeah, by the high school. Yeah. Yeah. But they're all equally incredible. <laughs> okay. Except for this one, but that's a different. So in and out. So. We do that. And you where do else? In and out. Um, uh, King Taco is very good. Oh. Uh, Write this down. Write it yeah, down. Yeah, Poquito Mas, I love. Uh, oh, Poquito Mas, though, okay. You know, uh, my Mexican friend is like, that's not Mexican. But it's still good. Something. It's delicious. No, it's amazing. It's, you know, it's good. It's clean. Sure. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, a couple, I don't do this, I don't do this a lot, but a couple of times, because I, I lived I was I lived right by the Santa Palm car wash on Santa Monica. Okay. Right? Yeah, in West the Hollywood. One with all those stars from the seventies on the wall. Yeah. In there. And uh, so I actually took my rental car and got it washed there just so I could <laughs> so I could hang out and You're wait like... for my car because that is the greatest car wash in the world. But now did you get your picture up there? No, 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 no. Come on. I'm not no, I'm not I was never on the love boat. I don't qualify. Oh yeah. That's going way back. Yeah. That's before the Goo well, before the Goo Goo Dolls. That's way, like way before. 70s and early 80s. Um, okay, I know we're going to do some Q&As coming up. Sure. And so many favorite Goo Goo Dolls songs. There's so many favorites, right? Like, how do you say, how do we pick a few? We know we don't have the hours in here, sadly, but oh. we have a lot of time together. I mean, is it like Broadway, right? We love Broadway. Oh. We love Black Balloon. We love Big Machine. Oh, Hair you. is Gone. So many great Goo songs. <laughs> what little surprise might you play? Because it's going to be a favorite. It's one of my oh. all-time favorites, and it's such a happy Jew. It's a little jam. It's yeah, a little okay. goo jam. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to do this one. Right? Thank you. Could you whisper in my ear the things you want to feel? I'll give you anything. Feel it come in. Do you wake up on your own and wonder where you are and live with all your faults? And I want to 
wake up where you are I don't say anything at all So why don't you decide Yeah We're gonna let it slide Don't you love the life you killed? The priest is on the phone. Your father hit the wall. Your mother disowned you. I suppose I'll ever know. Something to be a man. Something I could change. I live around it. I want to wake up where you are. I don't say anything at all. So why don't you stay? And I'll do anything you ever dream Be complete little pieces of nothing before Oh man, put your arms around me What you feel is what you are, what you are It's beautiful, oh man You want to get back Run away, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do anything you ever dreamed be complete little pieces of nothing before put your arms around me. What you feel is what you are, what you are is beautiful, oh man. You want to get married or run away, hey. And I want to wake up where you are. Yeah. Thank you very much. You guys are so quiet. I know you're dying to just let it rip and sing with them. It's okay. He said it's okay if you want to yeah, do that. you can sing with me. You know, and I'm remembering um, that, that uh, Robbie, your partner in crime, puts a nice little flair, little flair on that song. Love. Robbie Robbie sends his love, right? He's um, uh, couldn't be here tonight. Did, I don't know. Did you talk to him? I, I didn't talk to him. Man. Didn't, but I do see Robbie often around town when he's here, when he's yes, in town. Yes, yes. He likes to wander around Sunset Boulevard. We've got funny <laughs> stories. for old friends. <laughs> Robbie. Well, but you guys have been together, was it high school or how long have you known him? Excuse me. Um... Uh, I met him when I was a freshman in college. I was like 19, 18, 19. And so we started the band when I was 19, and now I'm... And, uh, oh, that's the age a lot of us are. In this yeah. We're, we're, I'm about to... but, uh, <laughs> but it's like a band marriage, right? It's a band marriage, you guys? It's a, it's a band marriage, and now we're at that point where no one else wants us, so why get divorced? No, nah, well, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, well, we... We're grateful you're not getting divorced anytime soon. And speaking of which, yeah, Robbie, happily married. You're happily married. Life is going well, personally. Everything's great. Yeah. Everything's great. Hey. And your little one, I, she's getting taller in the she's, pictures that I see. She's, uh, she's going to be seven. Seven. She's going to be seven. Seven years old. I can't believe it. And she is just like amazing. She's, she's your like, favorite. She's like, well, she's like this beautiful psychedelic explosion of... It's yeah, I gotta clean up after it, <laughs> but it's kind of incredible to watch his little mind figure things out, you know, and like hand me a screwdriver and say, "Daddy, take this apart for me." So I take apart her Barbie dream house, and then she glues it together with a bunch of other stuff and makes something else. That's, Doing like just dad stuff, right? Yeah, dad I do, stuff. I, I, you need a good. This is my advice to anybody who's gonna be a dad: get a good screwdriver. Again, write it down. He's write got it good down. tips. Good tips. A this jeweler's guy. screwdriver. Who's more excited about the holidays? You know, she or you? Oh, she, she's going, she's going crazy. Yeah, she's going crazy. What's on her list? Like, what's the oh big? Oh my god, what's not? It's more like the thing. But she's like, she's like, um, she's like a little scientist. You know, she she likes to she likes experiments. So I did. So I do all the experiments that I did when I was a kid. You know, like you fill the balloon with the baking soda and you pour the vinegar in the soda bottle 
and then you put the balloon over it, and then you put the thing, and the balloon blows up. Your wife's like, like do it outside, please, well, outside. We had, to, we had to go, oh, my God. We ran, had to run outside because it went, boom, just exploded. Every, Mentos bombs, we do that. Oh, okay. Mentos bombs. We're going to get into electricity in, this year. Okay, please don't kill her. Please no, don't. No, 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 no. Just six bolts, you know. Uh, you can put that on your tongue. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a problem. But you're having fun together. You're having, you're enjoying it. Yeah, we have a good it. time. We have a good time. Most of the time. Then she decides to be a little raging, you know. Hey, it happens. Go easy on us women, She is, huh? she, she's, she's all girl. She's the best. She's all, she's amazing, you know, and I, I would do anything for her, so. Mm. And, you know, it's just nice to, it's still, there's, st it's still that unconditional love, you know what I mean, right now. So I'm, I'm just trying to get as much of that as I can because it's going away, mm. you know. You well, just, I hope not. I hope not. Nah, it's going to go away for everybody. And then all my friends that have, have grown up daughters, because I started having kids 20 years after everybody else did. And because um, I was a – I shouldn't have been a dad until now. But um, <laughs> totally, thank you. I can see someone, <laughs> someone agrees that I shouldn't have been uh -huh. a father. <laughs> hey, you had some crazy fun party rock and roll years, and then yeah, now look at now look at you. Now I look had at you. I had to, you know, because it was like you know you grow up and you know you grow up in Buffalo and you you know and, I mean then all of a sudden all these people like want to hang out with you. It's like you hang out with them a little bit and then you realize they're mostly full of crap and then you go find your old friends and hang out with them again. And you're like, I want more, and then I want a family. So you created yeah. a family. Yeah. We're your family too, right? Surprise, they, we're yes. your family. You know, it's funny because I recognize so many people from here. I was going to ask if you recognize. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That hair is just, I wish I could get that, my hair to do that. It's like, you will? Wow. Who thinks they've seen the Goo Goo Dolls in person live the most times in this room? How many times? Yell it out. 30? 72. 74. 72? How many times? I know you. How many times? 80. 80? Wow. That's a lot of money. Man. Yeah, I had to. See, we got to do the punch card thing like at the Santa Pompa. Right? Boa. I want You proof. came to 10 shows, the next one's free. Well, I had people DMing me who wanted to come. They're like, oh, we fly everywhere they go. I'm like, wow. It's kind of cool. It's interesting. It's interesting to meet these people, you know, because it's like, you know, they're making time to. to be part of your life yeah. in a way, you know what I mean? And they're investing in you and your music. Yeah, and it's it's like, I know because you you come to a lot of shows and I always see you and, and I always think, oh shit, I gotta, oh, sorry. It's okay. We're gonna beep that. Um, I always think, oh shit, you know, we should play a different song tonight. And then I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, there's like 5,000 people here, I can't just change the show. But yeah, you know, just throw a note up on stage and you know, Everyone will think you're giving me your phone number, and then, you know, I'll be like, oh. Ah. And it'll be like, you know, yeah, just make a request. We'll play it. Well, and speaking of requests, I know part of why we're here is because uh, it's Christmas All Over. Came yeah. out a couple years ago, but now the deluxe edition is out. So it's, it's Christmas All Over again. Again. Uh, and there's a new uh, Christmas song on there. Yeah, there is, but I'm not playing it. I know you're not. I know. <laughs> I just had to make it noted. Yeah. Uh, and then, so there's a new Christmas song on there. Yeah. And then I feel like there's other Goo Goo Doll songs that also have the Christmassy vibe. Yeah, well, I mean, um, uh, not this one. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, this, um, that song, Better Days, that was originally a Christmas. Should I play that one now? Can I play that one now? Uh, no. Oh, wait, we'll play the Christmas How song dare first. You. Hold on. Well, because this one is a... Just edit this. <laughs> it's a cover, but it's got a Christmassy vibe to it. Talk about that connection. This, oh, this is Christmas? Um, no, we actually wrote this song. Oh, this is the... Okay, yeah. Uh, and I was out of order. See, yeah, we, got the, we have different lists. I went out of order. It's fine. Which, I'm so sorry. I'm so Back sorry. to Christmas. This oh, is the original Goo Goo Dolls Christmas song. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, oh, that one? Which one you want? Oh, I want This is Christmas. Okay, sure, yes. sure. I want what you want. Okay, I... I Poop, poop, poop. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, this song, um, I haven't played it since we recorded it, probably. Oh, this so. is where you got the cheat sheet Yeah, that's where I got this oh. giant thing, but I'm blind, so I need, like, <laughs> you know, I need, like, 40-point <laughs> type. Anyway, yeah, so let me make sure this is right. And, uh, okay, this is off the Internet, so it could all be wrong. I'm 
stalling. <laughs>
I like I re I, I love Christmas. I I you know, it's an amazing time of year, and and I love the old old Christmas albums. I love all the really old Christmas albums. So we tried to do a lot of that kind of stuff, you know. And so we messed around and we we did these deep dives on the internet to try and find out how those albums were recorded. And uh, so we made like a science project out of it too, which was fun. It's really dorky. I'm a total dork. But in 2020, you had time to really Planning take your time. time. Yeah. yeah. And it was fun. We created our own little bubble. We went from the hotel to the studio and back. And that was it. Nobody strayed out of that sort of situation. And um, yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I love the record. Nobody, you know, I mean, I don't know. You know, I love it. Thank we you very love much. it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And are you going to be able to be home for Christmas then? Because you have a couple radio yeah. Christmas shows I saw um, on the calendar. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll make it home. Yeah, All right. I'll, I'll be home Christmas for that. Christmas with the family? The whole family? Yeah. yeah Back well, east? Yeah, you know, I mean, my family's in Buffalo, you know. So, you know. Maybe after, like between Christmas and New Year's, we'll go up there and see make it that. all work. Yeah, you know, I mean, it is what it is, right? All right. A little bit ago, I mentioned a song, a cover song that we yeah. all know and love, that also has a Christmassy vibe. I Talk think about so. that. The story behind that. It could be. Yeah. You know. Well, was it um, in a Target commercial? Uh, yeah, I think it was in a Gap commercial. Okay. It was in a, it was in a Gap commercial. Google wait, says. Target. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is a cover. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Just I want to make sure we get this right. <laughs> Don't mess it up, Lisa. No, it's not you. It's me because I'm, you know, I forget it. It's okay. But um, Yes, the cover song. Yeah. This was so in good. A, this was in a Gap commercial. How did it come about, this song, you doing this song? It's such um, a great song. I thought it was a really cool song. And um, so, but the only part I remembered was. It's kind of like that Born in the USA thing where nobody knows what that song's really about. Like all they know is Born in the USA. So it's like, and that's all you know is give a little bit, you know. And we did that. And then I went and I listened to the, the song, the record, and I hadn't heard it since I was a kid. And um, there's like a seven minute saxophone solo about 30 oh. seconds into the song. So we had to chop it up. So we just did basically like a highlight reel of that song. So... It's, it's, a, very, it's a great one to do. It's yeah. very direct, but yes. it gets to the point. So let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? Give us a little bit. All right. <laughs> All right. Give a little bit. Give a little bit of your love to me. I give a little bit. I'll give a little bit of my love to you. See the man with the lonely eyes. I'll take his hand. You'll be surprised. Give a little bit. Give a little bit of your time to me. I'll give a little bit. I give a little bit of my life for you. Now's the time that we need to share. I'll send a smile. We're on our way back home. the nine minute saxophone solo. To you. 
Now's the time that we need to share Oh, send a smile We're on our way back home Cause we got to be here Yeah, come a long ride Yeah, come along too And you're such a long way such a long ride Come a long way Ooh, sing it tonight Yeah Woo! So good Johnny Resnick of the Goose uh, I got my big ending yeah. yeah! Love it! Thank you very much So good, thank you for that Your voice sounds so good and I, thank you. Yes. And I want to know, because it sounds so smooth. I mean, not to say after all these years, but after all these years, it's so smooth and so silky. It sounds so clear. Yes. <laughs> and I want to know, after all these years, I mean, do you still have to work at sounding that good? Yeah. You know I mean? Well, uh, I haven't had a cigarette. I haven't, I haven't smoked or drank in the past nine years. So. How about that, y'all? Please. Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I saw you post that on your, uh, your Instagram. So. Yeah. Well, I'm very proud. Yeah, that's the one thing I post on there for real. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but you know, every day that I'm on tour, I I hook up the iPad. Well, I don't. John does, and uh, John works with me, and um, and I take a singing lesson from a guy here in Los Angeles named Eric Vitro, who is the best singing teacher in the whole world. So you're still taking lessons? Always. Wow. Always, always, always. And when I'm home, I try to do two a week. So obviously they're working, if you're still keeping up with it. They're working. Yeah. It, was, it was weird because when I quit smoking, I was like, oh, my voice is all screwed up. What happened? What happened? I got to start smoking again, which was, you know, me wanting to just smoke again because I, I always had a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. It was crazy. But now, all these years later, if I smell smoke on somebody, I'm like, ugh. Oh, right. So nasty. We don't have any smokers in the room, do we? No. Come on now. No. 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 Nah, don't hit, no. Right. Go no, on. I'm not shaming you. It's just, you know, you, it smells. <laughs> <laughs> but you sound fantastic. Thank you. And uh, what is he teaching you, like, the warm-up? Do you do the warm-up exercises? All yeah, we do like, all those. Do you, those weird no, ones? Have you had to do that? Because you use your voice for your living. I should do them, but I'm not, like, a singer-singer. Yeah, but, but, do the, but you I, have to I, talk. I, I, for, la, 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 la. Yeah, there I've you go. I've seen Donny Osmond do it. It's some weird stuff. Yeah, you go like... Why don't you show us? <laughs> yeah. Me, mo, me, mo, me, mo, me. It's ridiculous. And sometimes I'm like, are you serious? Well, he's, he's like, this one we're going to go, me, ba da ba dee, ba da ba do, ba da ba dee, ba da ba do. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Oh, I just want to watch so bad. It's, I'm Each like, session, it's, I want to watch. But he's, he's, Eric is amazing. He's a beautiful human being. And he's like, and it's like, it's part, it's like part therapy session and part singing lesson. That's good. Yeah. And he's like, He's, it's unbelievable. Sounds so. like it's a good, uh, good team there, and uh, yeah, yeah, the work is paying off. I hope so. I yeah, hope so. You know, yeah. now with that, I'll probably circle the drain on the next one. No, <laughs> no. What would you like to do for us next? Um. Well, this was originally a Christmas song, and then, um, and uh, then Hurricane Katrina happened, and um, CNN wound up using it to, I don't know, like you know, raise money or do something. So, um, so I was like, yeah, I'll go with it, you know? And um, it became bigger than what it was supposed to be. Because it was, this is what the Target thing you're talking about is. This was supposed to be on a Target Christmas album. Got it. And I don't know if it was. I think it probably was, but, uh, but we wound up using it for other things, or, you know? So, and um, yeah, so this is called Better Days, right? It goes like this. You asked me what I want this year I tried to make this kind and clear Just a chance that maybe we'll find 
better days Cause I don't need boxes wrapped in string Design a love, empty things Just a chance that maybe we'll find better day So take these words and sing out loud Cause everyone is forgiven now Cause tonight's the night the world begins again I need some place simple where we could live And something only you could give That's faith and trust and peace while we're alive Now the one poor child that saved this world Ten million more who probably could If we all just stop and said a prayer So take these words and sing out loud Cause everyone is forgiven now Cause the night's the night the world begins again This endless fight is the chance that maybe we'll find better days. So take these words and sing out loud. Cause everyone is forgiven. Yet tonight's the night the world begins again. So good. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so inspirational. We're getting all Thank the feels all you guys. here. Holiday time. I know, like we mentioned a little bit ago, you're doing a handful of radio Christmas shows this month. Yeah. Then I hear you're going off to India for the first time ever. Yeah. What's up with that? I, you know. How'd that happen? I don't know. Somebody called and said... <laughs> You guys want to come to India and play play a festival? Yeah. So we're playing a festival with uh, that band War on Drugs and a bunch of bands. I don't know. But first time ever was, in India. I've never been to India. I've never I've never I've never been a lot of places. Well, yeah. Some people yeah. were asking in the questions. You know, you think by now you've been everywhere. I mean, what's do you have you know bucket list countries and cities to perform um, in? Well, I mean, I would I would like to go to Paris yeah. now that I have a little bit of money. You know, <laughs> because <laughs> Although being broke in Paris for the four days I was there, it was fine because you just you just ate bread and drank wine and smoked cigarettes and you can make your way around. You acted French, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. You just didn't open your mouth because it was you know. But um, but it's such a beautiful place, you know. And then we went to the south of France. We went to Nice and then Monte Carlo. You're from Nice. See, everybody in Nice is very nice. In the south of France, everybody's nice. Everyone in Paris is a prick. <laughs> you know? Ouch. It's like. It's like the New York of Europe. It's like now is Australia a favorite place to go? Because uh, I don't know if y'all saw on the schedule. Matchbox Twenty, the tour with Matchbox Twenty, another favorite from back yeah. in the day. Those guys are so great. Uh, the tour, like uh, eight, nine cities I think in there's Australia. Nine cities, and yeah. then we're gonna break off and go to New Zealand and a couple of other places. Oh, why think. is that one of your favorites to go to? Um, well, I haven't. I haven't been there in. I don't know. It's going on almost twenty years. We haven't been there, and. Um, it's just the people are really cool. They're a lot of fun. It's just a fun place, you know. It's like, it's like the entire country is like spring break all the time. <laughs> you know, it's like, fun, nice people. It's beautiful. Yeah. When you go, what, what are you gonna do when you go? 
I'm probably going to work and sleep. I don't know. Work I, and sleep? Know. No, you know, I mean, I'll go see stuff. You know, maybe I'll get to hold a koala bear again. Ah. You know, something like that. And maybe you'll have to post it on Instagram if you do. Uh, yeah. You said you don't post that often. I know your no, social media don't. guy. The guy who posts for the Google Dolls Instagram is on fire. He keeps us up to date yeah. with all the stuff that you guys are up to. Yeah, I just, I, I just, I, I feel, I feel bad that I don't like to engage in social media very often because I just wind up taking everything personally, and and I'm just like it happens. You know, and then yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I. I just I, I don't have time for that in my life. And I I realize, you know, you do anything. I'm sure you have your detractors or haters. Sure. You know, and I mean we all do. Who are you? Raise your hand. You know, no. but no, but it's it's you know, yeah. I don't need that in my head or in you my don't. life. It's like it's like it's like getting really upset about having some lint in your pocket and just losing your crap over it. Yeah. You know, so Down to like, the negativity. But yeah. the positive side of social media is the exposure to yeah. your music to new new uh, generations. Yeah. I, not to ask who's the youngest person in the room, but who found out about the Google Dolls music? Anybody here like on via social media? I mean, younger generations, anybody? You're like, no, we're old school girl. We go no. way back. Everyone we're in this room can buy <laughs> beer. <laughs> But the exposure to other generations right now, you're big on TikTok and the people in newer yeah. generations are discovering you. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful it's a thing. Positive that, thing. That's a beautiful thing. But generally, I believe that social media is going to tear us apart from the inside out. Mm. That's it. Uh, Thank you. We don't disagree. We don't disagree. That's why I like little, you know, just doing little bits. Yeah. Little bits. I mean, there, there's so much of an upside to it. But but it gives it gives these tiny little useless Jabs. Voices. Yeah. An enormously, enormous platform. And it magnifies the negativity to the point, you know, where where we're not sure what's true anymore. Mm. You know what I mean? You're sort of, it used to be innocent until proven guilty. Now it's, you're guilty until you can prove you're innocent if you engage. Right. So I don't know. You know. Well, but we're going to be posting a lot of happy stuff from our great night with you. That's for sure. I'm not saying not to. No, we, <laughs> we hear you. We're, we're on Team Resnick for sure. Uh, I did see that one certain song of yours yeah. that came out in the 90s mm -hmm. that is a huge hit just surpassed like a billion streams yeah. online. Yes. Can you guess what song that might be? A billion yeah. streams? Uh, 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 torn Apart. The song? Living no. in a Hut. What? So I'm no. just mentioning some of our older songs. Who know? Uh. Don't beat my ass. That was one of our songs. Didn't, no. It did not surpass a billion. Sorry. Um, okay, so in this song, my question is now, again, we know the ages of everyone here in this room, but uh, does anybody in this room know the song Iris but does not know the movie from which it came? We know the movie, right? What is it? Freddy's 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 City of, City Freddy's of Angels. Dead. What? City of Angels. City of Angels. Please tell me you have memorabilia in your house, an ode to City of Angels, because some of us still love that movie. I watch it every time I see it on cable. Um, I, I have no memorabilia. <sighs> I don't. I really don't. Like, you would walk in my house, and you would just be like, you'd be like, okay, who lives here? And you'd be like, I don't know, an accountant? <laughs> <laughs> like, you would have no idea that a musician lived in All house. right. But, hey, it's your, your personal space to do as you please. Yeah. But this song, this song has wings. This song is multi-generational. This song is a song that people will wait for at the end of a concert at the Greek theater like last time. <laughs> and people have had a lot of cocktails, and they will out-sing you. Yes. I'm like, I can't even hear Johnny. That's a good thing. They love this song, though. And I would encourage you, right, for the course, you, you better jump on in, y'all. This is your chance I to belt out the course. You, you can would... stand up if you like. Right? right? Or do whatever you want. It's all to Johnny, but we love this song and we love you. We so appreciate you coming in and, and sharing this special night with us here in the Helpful Honda Music Lounge. So. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank nice. you so much, Lisa. And we it's great to you. see you again. Yeah, it's been a minute. Do you see how I faded it in like it's on the radio? Yeah, here we go. 104.3. Yeah, yeah there you found. go. Iris, Johnny Resnick. <laughs> yes, I'll keep going. And I'd give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now Cause all I can taste is this moment 
And all I can breathe is your life When sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight And I told the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand Where everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am you can, Seriously, you can sing if you want to don't be shy, you guys. Come on. And you can't fight the tears that ain't coming. Yeah. Or the moment of truth in your lies. And when everything feels like the movies. Come on. Yeah. And I don't do it to see me. Cause I don't think that they'd understand Where everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know who I am Oh, So good. We're not done. I know. We just were like excited. Are you going to do this? Come on, you guys. You better own it. Don't be afraid to stand up, too. Yes. And I don't do it to see me. Because I don't think that they don't understand. I just. Come on. I just. I just. Come on, one big one. I just want you to know who I am. Oh, you guys are awesome. See, every time you hear that on 1043 My FM, remember this moment. So good. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, we had a blast. Happy holidays. Can't Happy wait holidays you're back to everybody. Town. Thank you all so much for coming. Woo! Yay, Johnny! Thank you, guys.